we're we going to do our own show on this one, they aren't we? It's going to be three hours non-stop of everything Incredible. because we could. Oh, um, <laughs> I, I, I've written this morning. I think um, Frank got an insight into what Everton's really like on Monday night. Um, it was the eighth time in the last five years that the team has conceded five plus goals in a game, which I just think is, is an absolutely remarkable statistic and gives you an idea of how quickly they can collapse. They've, they, they've done it to uh, Rafa Benitez, they've done it to Carlo Ancelotti, they've done it to Marco Silva, Sam Allardyce, Ronald Koeman. They were going to do it to Frank at some point. Um, and that's what happened on Monday. And you know that I've, I've been saying for a while about the the dangers of relegation. I, I, I'd actually thought um, after the Man City game that maybe, maybe they, they were they were turning the corner. But I mean, Monday night was just was just abysmal, abysmal, and they are right right in trouble. It's funny, Don, because I got a real shock in Monday night to tell you the truth because. I clearly, wrongly, was of the opinion, I thought if they could get Richarlison and Calvert-Lewin in the same pitch, working together, I think they would have enough about them. But defensively, I mean, Michael Keane looks shot to pieces with confidence, and I just think they look all over the place. The, but the, 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 so, there's so much, Ali. There's, um, they, they spent £30, 30 million pound on, on full-backs in January, and neither, neither of them can get in. Now, let me, let me add the caveat about... Um, Vitaly Michalenko at the minute that we 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 don't know what his um his mental state's yeah, like at the yeah, minute with, with with the issue. There's absolutely not find? one word of criticism. There's there's not one word of criticism about him at all. But what what the, the, the issue that I am pointing out is that um they have they, they did spend a lot of money for players that aren't getting in the team. I mean he wasn't getting in the team before before yeah. things started off really as well. So we, we'll see what. We, we, you know, we'll see what happens there. But um, Deli Ali and Don- Donny van der Beek so far, it's it's not really happened for them. Um, they need. I just look at the. I look at the next week with um, Wolves, Newcastle, and then Watford away, and I wouldn't say make or break, but they really need six points out tonight. They really, really need to six points out tonight. So I'm just a very quick one because there's there's other things coming into play with Everton now at the moment as well. It, it reports that they could be breaching uh, top flight profit and sustainability rules. Could you just give us a little summary of that? Yeah, I mean the the um, the finance. Uh, it's the story story written by Matt Hughes this morning. Um, the financial results over the last couple of years have been awful. Uh, the, the one um, December 2020, they lost 139.9 million which was a, a, a club record. Um, there's going to be another loss this year. We're still waiting for the financial results to be to be published. Um, found out yesterday that um, the club don't have, well, some of the players that I, that I know don't have relegation clauses in their contract that would see mandatory 20% pay cuts if they were to go down. So if you could imagine if, if the worst does happen and, you know, God forbid it does, if the, if the down paying... Um, huge wages in the championship. It's gonna, it's gonna have a a huge effect on them. But you know, fingers crossed, it doesn't get to that situation. But I mean, it's it, it's a situation like I've never seen with a football club up, up, up here. It's uh, they're in real, real trouble. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods, Monday to Wednesday morning, six till ten, on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.